you have uh -huh. the Olympics coming up. So February. February. Nervous? Excited? Excited. Uh -huh. A little bit nervous. I think it's natural, but uh, I'll be ready. You know, I've got a little less than 39 days, I think, mm -hmm. till uh, our final preparation ends. So right. and it's been crunch four, time, crunch. literally. <laughs> <laughs> it's been four years, and I think you know every athlete's lifestyle is um, they're pretty similar. I mean, it's been training my butt off the whole time, mm -hmm. and uh, solely dedicated towards my sport. So the time goes by fast. Right. You know, it really does. And I can't, like you said, I can't believe four years have already gone by. I kind of wonder what's been going on. So <laughs> being here today is kind of a little bit of vacation. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Being here in New York is a vacation. And then basically when I get back to Utah, it's a uh, closed camp, okay. as my, my strength coach likes to call it. <laughs> so is it 24-7 of training? I mean, is that pretty much it? It will be, yeah. It will be. And it has been for the most part, but it really intensifies for the last, the last portion. Like in the taste of like what your day is like once it could sit cutting up it's just up. everything is revolving around training so either i'm driving to the rink training coming back home to rest for the next training i'm eating meals that are all specifically designed to help me recover or help me perform better for the next training mm -hmm. or the next day um everything revolves around the sport right listening to him are you kind of relieved that you um, <laughs> i don't know it's more yeah. you know i wish i wish i was competing in 39 days just because it brings back memories from Beijing, and you know, even though it's hard and you commit your whole life to it, it's worth everything. Oh, so mm -hmm. it's got to be nothing more rewarding than to be out there and doing it, and then Definitely. doing well at it. Mm -hmm. and Definitely recognized. And mm -hmm. When he's sitting here talking about it, I'm getting like butterflies. I'm like, I have to get ready for competition. <laughs> <laughs> so it's weird, but right. now will you be at the Olympics then? I'll be at Vancouver. Okay. I'll be um, doing a bunch of different things. She's so. actually winning. Passing the torch in Calgary. Oh, you are? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's kind of exciting. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll be there watching the events and mm -hmm. get to see Apollo race. <laughs> yes. Cheering <laughs> on to victory. <laughs> so now you're going to be part of the opening ceremonies? Because your, your competition starts right at the beginning, if I'm right. I go from the beginning all the way to the end. Okay. Yeah, we compete um, almost through the entire games. So it should be fun. Right. I, you know, I'm from Seattle, so I... Literally learned how to speed skate in Vancouver, BC. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a homecoming, and you can bring some of the hometown of, crew I think up so. to see you. Yeah, you know, my first games was in Salt Lake, which was essentially like a home game, as being in the U.S. And then, you know, Vancouver being so close to Seattle, it's basically like a home games, you know, two hours away. Right. It's like it's like you know, I've been in the apartment below, and now I'm just going to the loft above. Right. 